You're watching Duke of Copy TV, I'm Elaine Stenson. The US economy added just 148,000 jobs last month, a steep drop from the 193,000 created in August, and below expectations for an increase of 180,000, indicating that job growth had actually slowed before the recent shutdown. The unemployment rate lowered to 7.2% from 7.3% in August, but this was partially due to more people dropping out of the labour force. Vincent Signorella from the Wall Street Journal joins me on the line now. Vincent, how accurate are these figures? Um, yeah, accurate to the point that there are, it's, it's going to be revised. And, and uh, as we saw with the two months prior, um, jobs data is, is subject to great revisions. I think, I think it's accurate in the sense that business uh, foresaw what the shutdown was going to do, and, and that slowed jobs growth in that sense. Um, business leaders tend to take a uh, more sanguine approach to the politics in Washington, I think, than the politicians in Washington take for themselves, actually. How will this data affect Janet Yellen's decision to introduce tapering if it has not already been introduced? Um, I, I think it's going to delay it probably a lot more than people um, may even think. I think there's the market's now tending to look towards March. Uh, potentially, this could not even be a 2014 decision. If, if uh, the unemployment numbers continue to weaken uh, or, or not gain considerably, you know, the Fed's decision is data-driven. And if the data do not support uh, altering monetary accommodation, I don't think they will. I think they're caught in a, in a very difficult situation. The dollar struggled near a nine-month low today. How concerned should we be about this? Well, I think the dollar is on its heels for two reasons, uh, primarily because of the fiscal policy in, in the United States is a bit inept with the bickering between the Republicans and the Democrats, and that's put the Fed somewhat handcuffed uh, in their decision-making. And if you were to take that with any other country in the United States, uh, outside of the United States, you would, you would be selling that, country, that currency aggressively. And I think that is, that is what we're seeing with the dollar. And it's going gonna, it's gonna to put... Uh, it's going to continue to keep the dollar under pressure, I think, for the short term. Vincent, thank you very much for joining me on the line today. And that's all from me for now. But do check back for more interviews and updates from the TV team. Bye for now.